Okay, Warren, uh, a couple of days removed from, from Tuesday's game, a disappointing one. Where are we at at the moment? Because it uh, it's all about recovery after that, isn't it? No, it is. You, you can see we're lacking confidence at the minute. Um, it's just putting a finger on, as I said, I've said to the players after, getting, getting that first goal could probably make it a lot easier for us. Um, but, you know, you're just going into games. And I said to the boys, we've got to get out of it. If, if we don't take chances, and that's collectively of everyone. Um, you know, going on in games, teams will get chances. And uh, unfortunately, at this moment, we're getting punished. But, you know, there, there's a lot of emotions in the change room after. Um, but it's our job to get going again. We're still in a great position in our hands. And look, you know, you, get, you win that game. Um, it puts ourselves in a better position. And, you know, uh, we've just got to look forward to Saturday and get the boys picked up. There's no... There's no you know, bad feeling about them. Um, all I can control is the players. And uh, look, we wear a heart in our sleeves. And, um, you know, at the minute it's not going for us. You can see performances away, which I said we've got to do at home. Um, we're trying to put our finger on that. But the, the, the problem at the minute is it's just that little bit of confidence we've got to, we've got to get ourselves out of. And uh, there's, no, uh, there's no panic at this time. You talk about emotions. Obviously, we, I saw it in the dressing room. And people were down, you know, which is what you want from those players, isn't it? The, the disappointment. But, you know, there was an incident at full time as well. Emotions running over. I mean, what, what was your view on that? Look, I, I didn't see it, to be honest. But, you know, I've, I've heard a few things. And I think, you know, after games, emotions go. Fans have got every right to voice opinions. But the big thing for me is they've got to, they've got to voice it at me after. Um, you know, I don't know what happened with the incident, but listen, it's 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 something that you know, as I say, the all down boils down to emotions, frustration. Um, but you know, we've got to let this move on now because no matter how you look at it, it can affect players. Look, I've been brought up and as a kid, I left at sixteen, but brought up in an environment where, believe me, when you're in it, you see it. You're walking down the street, with your mum and dad, two hundred yards up the street, there's a bomb going off. And I'm not saying that, but that's my mentality. You know, I, I can take, it comes with a, with a job, um, criticism. Um, but my only worry is that we can't let it affect the players because as what I said to you, you know, some of these players, this is the highest they've played. And at these times, we need everyone. Look, there's incidents, you know, in the game. We've had with the linesman down here, he had £2.20 in his pocket, he showed us after, and two lemon sherberts. Um, but he cracked the joke at it, but you know what, what? They could shut the stadium. We have said that, and that's what we don't want. We need everyone pulling in the right direction um, come now to the end of the season. And look, there's going to be frustrations, there's going to be criticism, but you know, all to say is yes, aim it, aim it at me at the end. I have no problems, um, but don't because it can affect players. Um, and as I said to you, there was a few players in there after, you know, who I could see. You know, we're, we're that little bit frustrated, we're that little bit emotional. Um, but, you know, we've just got to gotta move forward and, and get over the line together. You talk about those, again, talking about those emotion, emotions. It's really fans, staff, supporters, you know, whatever the role. It, it's about keeping those emotions in check, isn't it, really? I think that's the important thing going forward. Those are the conversations that need to be had. No, look, look, the fans have been great. I said you they've come to the away games, they appreciate us on Saturday. Um, I think because, you know, you can just see it that little minute in time that we're lacking that little bit of confidence which we've tried and get up but the only way we can get that up is everyone pulling together you know we've had our we've had our, our ding dong the other night as you want to call it whatever you do emotions go but you know we've got to move on we've got to got to get ready for Saturday in a tough tough game get everyone together um, look th- th- this club has come far I'm being honest you know from where it was last year and probably the expectations at the start you know, someone said the other night there that oh, the biggest budget in the league. It's took absolutely what four or five years to get champions, but we, we certainly don't. We've been having the wheel and deal. Um, I think it's expectations of where we, we started, but realistically, if you look, I said we want to be competitive. Um, it's new to everyone that, that this club was near gone six weeks ago. Um, only, only for someone to uh, to sort something that was outstanding. So we're all learning. Um, everyone's got to pull in the in the right direction, and uh, as I said, gee, for for Saturday at the end of the season, let's get these couple of win- wins, because you know there's some of these boys who probably haven't been in this situation before, um, and you know it, it, it's okay when people go, oh, they expect us to do this and that. We've got to coach them, 
you can lead them out there, but they've got to take it on board. And um, sometimes that little bit of lack of confidence can cause cause that that um, you know mistake. And uh, as I said to you, we can't um, we can't let outside noise affect us. There was one or two players that you mentioned, you know, more specifically after the game on Tuesday. Is that really just about getting? getting a reaction from those players because you know that they're the sort of ones who can yeah. react in, in different ways to maybe potentially 100%. other players. The day I've been brought up, the day I don't share that someone's a day I don't care about them. Um, you know, I've been brought up the hard way of football. You know, I'll never change. My record stands for itself to go and I'm not saying I've managed in the league. I left the team top of the league. It was like managing Real Madrid at Linfield. But to go abroad, manage a team in a foreign country with players who have played a lot, lot higher than me and go and win the league you have to do something right and it's that's what I'm saying to these boys I've got demands I'm a born winner and um, you know he knows I love him and uh, I'm the first to to congratulate him when he does something right and probably the first to when something's wrong but the only way to get him is to learn from his mistakes like any player we all make mistakes I always look at myself I take full responsibility um, for this at this moment in time but uh, it's it's not something that, you know, I, I can't let because I've got to pick these boys up. They're in my control. Nothing else is. And um, right to the end of the season, um, with the board fans, we, we've got to get going and get where we are. Look, I spoke to a certain manager today in the conference who wrote me very well respect the managed championship. And he said, you, you've had a decent season, he says, from where the club was. And I says, but you know what it's like. And I won't mention his name. He's hopefully given me one of his players. Um... But he says it, no, and he says it, look, it's all about stability. Um, and he said it is, look, difficult, Warren, but he says, keep going, you, you know, and uh, that, that, that's the people I've got to listen to. Is it now just about drawing a line under the, the previous 30-something games? We've got eight games to go. Is it now worth just looking at these late games as a mini-season and just getting, you know, setting the, those targets for these eight games and just making sure that no. we have a, 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 I, I, a nice, safe end to the season? Yeah, I certainly think so. Look, if, you know, I come in here last year when there were minus two points. We're in control of this now, where last year we technically weren't in control of it. So, you know, it, it is progress no matter how you look. Probably the way we started at the start of the year, but I keep saying it's new players, new players, new players. And then this is a league probably where, you know, I've said I've never seen as many turnovers of players in my life, but that's just the way it is. Um, you know, and we need to get that wee stability. But look, we can still finish around. I always said this season, I never set a target. I know people did, but I never set a target. I set around. Allsby wants to be competitive. Um, I think we're certainly competitive in games. But, you know, we're just lacking that little bit to get that first goal. Um, but with eight games to go, it's in our hands. And as I say, the, you know, I, I, I don't mind criticism, but just don't, my worry is, don't let it affect the players because, you know, we still want to get there. Look, there's a good good lot of fans I speak to. One actually came up to me the other night and apologised. Um, but obviously, sometimes you get the, the younger generation. Um you know, who are, you know, get a little bit excited, which they're entitled to. Um, but, you know, we've got to get we've got to get together. Um, and as I say to you, the focus is the players. No one's bigger than the club, I've always said that. And uh, we've got to make sure that, um, you know, we're, we're pulling, get over the line. On players, we, we won't mention names at the moment, but um, it sounds like we've got an, another two coming in ahead of Saturday, a couple of familiar faces. So we won't name names, but how big is that for us for these last eight games? You know what, it's huge because if you, you look, we, we've got six, seven players injured as well. Big players for me. Um, you know, we're missing that Medi Alito, Taylor Maloney, Taylor Curran. Um, Sadak obviously weighs, weighs hamstring. But, uh, you know, they're big, big, big players um, and, and more. So we've just got to look around, whiz around and, and try and get deals done. Look, they're not what people are saying expensive. No way. You know, if you, if you look what, what we've done, we've tried to, to stabilise it from the start to, to now. Um, and obviously I've got two definitely and hopefully there'll be one more. Um, they just strengthen that and obviously freshen it up a little bit. And, um, you know... As I said to you, uh, get 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 the where we want to be. Cheers, Warren. Thank you.